Hello and welcome listeners to podcast number 11, the one about my scanner. So, as it sits right now, I got the scanner I was hoping for. So the plan I had written will be in past tense instead of future. So let's get going. So it's going to be in, yeah, the past tense instead of the future because I already have it. So let's go. First off, who wanted it and who will take me to get it? Then there's the purpose of what I'll be doing with it. Another good question is when did I get it and how long and when will it last till? Then, where did I get it from and what's a good place to, to put it? Also, there's the question of why did I want it and anything authoritative with the why. Next to last, how to use it is something I will learn. Lastly, if I didn't get it, just imagine all the stuff that would have gone down. Like, so, to start off, who wanted the scanner? Well, in short, I did. And just me. Because, but more importantly, who would take me to go and get it? Because it was from Staples. And that's quite a walk from the LIT station I usually go to. You see, it's next to the Home Depot, which in itself is quite a walk. So I thought Dad could take me, but nah, because Staples is right next to Home Depot, which is just 10 minutes. So I walked there. And it only took me another 5 minutes, which is 15 minutes, to get there. And that's who took me there. Another good question I had about the scanner is what will it be used for? Well, I'll tell you. It is used for taking my drawings and putting them on the computer like this. Well, this is the process. You put a piece of paper into it and then you push the button. Then the scanner pulls the paper in and it goes over it Then it takes what it sees and puts that on the computer. So that you can then edit or do whatever you need to do to it on the computer. And that there is what I need it for. Also, there's the question of when did I get it? I got it on May 9th, 2019. Or in other terms, I got it on my brother's birthday. Yes, it was his birthday. And I got myself something instead of getting something for him. But that's for another day. So anyways, like I was saying, I got it on May 9th, and that will never be a day I'll forget, because I made a significant improvement in my life. Until then, I was busting my balls trying to get that printer we already have, so then I thought, nah, I'll just go get a scanner, and I got it. From then on, it was like, yeah, I got a scanner, no more screwing around with the electric printer, just scanned right here and now, and new happy. Last thing I'd like to say about that day when I got it it was my first time ever going to Staples, which I thought would have been much further than a walk than it was. And the whole train ride up there, I was like, oh no, what a long walk. But no, it wasn't. And I gained a whole lot of confidence because I learned something new. Like I already said, I got the scanners from Staples. I thought it would have been much more of a long, tiring walk, but it wasn't as nearly bad as I thought it was. So yeah, it was at Staples on 50th Street. I thought the staff there was really nice and what they needed to do to make me happy. The one thing I sort of worry about the, with the Staples I went to is the location of the town the Staples is in. It's not the sort of place where you want to hang around for a while not doing anything because it's, it's kind of sketchy, you know, a lot of people who like to do bad things like steal. But I went to the store and got it, you know. If you risk nothing, you won't get rewarded. Also, when I got it, I was thinking about where I would put it. Because down by computer, there's not a whole lot of space. And I didn't know where to put it. So, I found a space that fits nicely. And I put it where I did. Why did I want it is another question I will answer right now. So, I wanted it because I'm doing 3D animation. And when I model something, I take a picture off the internet and put that into my 3D program. But the lines are, and the edges of the animals aren't quite defined enough. So what I do is I print those pictures of the animals off and then I go to the edges with the permanent marker 
so I can see the edges. Then I use the scanner to put those images back into the computer to be able to model it off the permanent marker marks and which I do say is more effective than just modeling directly from the image because you can make your own blueprints on how to begin modeling. Here's something I'd, I think about learning. When you are told to do something and the teachers are expecting you to do it a certain way, you know, it doesn't work out that way because I like the trial and error process just because, you know, more tries, more, more things to learn. And more importantly, I wanted the scanner because of that reason there. You know, when you get a piece of technology from a store and you bring it home, you know, you're, you're, not, you're not quite sure how to use it. So do you ever think to look at the instructions before using it? Because sometimes there may be a very crucial step that you may need to know before or how to use it because something to do. Hang on, I need, I need a, I need a, so yeah, like I was saying, you know when you get a piece of technology from a store and you bring it home and you're like, ooh, how do I use it? Do you ever think to look at the instructions before using it? Because sometimes there may be a very crucial step that you may need to know in order to make it properly. In case of the scanner, when I opened it, it was like, has one button and I thought, just plug it in and push the button. But no. These instructions said I should go to the site and sell the drivers. I originally thought, oh no, something I have to do, something new I have to do, but no. I downloaded the drivers, and they would, told me a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do and what to do, because in the instructions there was only two or three steps, and on the drivers there was like 10 or 15, which made it so much easier. Once I found out what to do, all I had to do was install the drivers and go through the setup, then plug it in and stick the calibration in, and then I was good to go. As far as the actual using it directions, all I had to do was stick a piece of paper in and push the button, and then it would come on screen, and then I would deal with it from there. Now, last thing. Oh boy, it's taking forever. The feeling of regret is not something anyone wants to have, but sometimes you do. In the case of the scanner, if I did not give it get I if I did not get the scanner, I would be all full of regret. And you know, it wouldn't be happy. But you know, that's something you ought to learn, like this fellow here. I did not have it. If I if if I didn't have it I would have just come home and been like, oh no, it would have been one of those days where you come home and you're like, and I wish I would have done it and it would have given me, but I got it. So yeah, if I didn't get it, I know this one isn't as long, it's just because I'm getting bored and shouldn't be this long, but anyhow, back to the point. If I didn't get it that day, I would have felt so much regret and I'm glad I got it. And that's it for today. See you later.